Good afternoon. We are live at the Turtle Hospital in the emergency room. We are here with Kelly, a juvenile green sea turtle that was just rescued in the Lower Keys off of Summerlin Key this morning. Has just come into the Turtle Hospital. We've gotten x-rays and a weight and measurements. She was entangled in fishing line and has fibropapillomatosis. You can see those tumors. She is emaciated. You can see how very thin she is. We do have the blood work and she is in critical condition. So we're asking for lots of love and prayers for little Kelly here. And our team is pulling up medications and fluids now. And we're gonna check in with them. We have Madison, Maddie, and Isabel. And they are in the surgery suite getting medications and fluids together <laughs> for her treatment. So we are fortunate enough to have blood processing equipment here in our hospital. So any time of day or night that a turtle comes in, we can collect blood and get those results right away. With modern technology, those results go right to our veterinarian and he prescribes fluids and medication based on those chemistries. And there was somebody out paddle boarding this morning and saw this little turtle entangled in fishing line and struggling. So he called our 24 hour stranding hotline and Madison responded in the turtle hospital ambulance and was able to rescue this juvenile green sea turtle. She's probably somewhere between four and six years old, just based on her size. Hello in Germany. Thank you for joining us. We are in the Turtle Hospital emergency room. We have our rehabilitation team pulling up fluids and medications to treat this turtle that is in critical condition. Her blood levels are critically low. And by her body condition, she looks like she has been sick for a very long time. You can also tell by the epibiota on her back that she had been floating for some time. Hello in Michigan. Thank you for joining us. We want to thank everyone for following along and for sharing our videos. We couldn't do what we do without you. We are a nonprofit. We are currently caring for over 40 sea turtles. We received four loggerhead hatchlings in from Key West last night. Hello. And for everyone following Harlow's story, Harlow is a critical loggerhead sea turtle that was rescued almost a month ago. Her blood glucose levels continue to go up and down, but our beginning to stabilize. We are hopeful. She is eating a good diet for us on most days. She has was also a turtle that came in emaciated and had been sick for a long time. So these turtles, it takes a long time for them to get sick and a long time for them to get better. So they're going to start treatments here. It's going to consist of fluids and broad spectrum antibiotics and vitamins. Those fluids should help her to feel better right away, help to hydrate her. She's probably not eaten for a very long time. Hello in the UK, thank you for joining us. And from Estero, Florida and South Carolina, thank you for joining us today here in the Turtle Hospital Emergency mm -hmm. Room. Hello from Ontario, thank you for joining us. So depending on the condition of the turtle, some treatments go IV and others go subcutaneously. And sometimes they go both ways. Thank you for joining us from Miami and from Georgia. Hello in Kansas, thank you for joining us. We're here with Kelly, a juvenile green sea turtle that was rescued this morning off the lower islands in the Florida Keys. She's just come into the Turtle Hospital and is receiving her first treatments. Hello in Juneau Beach in Oklahoma. Thank you for joining us. We have our incredible rehabilitation team here. 
And we are with Maddie, Isabel, and Madison. Hello to our neighbors in Florida. Thank you for joining us. Hello in North Carolina. And in Dexter, hello in London. Thank you for joining us. It's a good time to talk about fishing gear. This turtle was found entangled in fishing gear. If you are a fisherman and you go out on the water, it's important to bring all your gear back with you. And if you're out there and see abandoned gear, if you could bring that back too, I am certain you're gonna be saving some of our marine life. Hello in Boston and California. Thank you for joining us. Hello in Rhode Island and Columbus, Ohio. Hello in Yorkshire, England and Delray Beach, Florida. Hello in Sweden. Thank you for joining us. And we are here with a juvenile green sea turtle while she is getting her treatment. No sound. I'm not sure why there's no sound. We are not muted. Hello in Wisconsin and Ohio. I'm gonna reduce the background noise and enhance the voice. Let me know if you can hear me. Hello in Maryland, Wisconsin and New Jersey and Germany. Thank you for joining us. Um, let me know if you can hear me, please. Hello in Minnesota and more friends from South Carolina and Germany. Thank you, Andrea, for letting me know you can hear me. So this is some fluids going in, IV. Hello from the Mediterranean. Thank you so much for the stars, Jennifer. Thank you for letting me know you can hear me. Raina, thank you so much. We are in the emergency room at the Turtle Hospital. We're located in the Florida Keys, which is a chain of islands off of Florida. We're about a two and a half hour drive from Miami. We are open to the public seven days a week. And we have educational programs. So if you were on one of those programs today, coming through the hospital, you would get to see what's going on through a monitor into our emergency room. And when the emergency room is empty, it is open to be looked at. Hello in Minnesota and more friends in South Carolina. Thank you for joining us. Hi, Nooney, thank you for joining us. Thanks for letting me know you can hear me. All right, and someone says the voice is coming in and out and I'm not sure why, but thank you for letting me know. Thank you, Lynn, for the stars. We appreciate all the support and thank you for sharing our videos. We do believe every time someone sees us taking this great care with sea turtles, it helps them to care about sea turtles and not only sea turtles, but our oceans. You can see she is receiving some vitamins there, that yellowish, yellowish fluid that you see. It's some fluids with vitamin B and that will help to give her some energy. Hello in Germany. And Ohio, Wyoming, thank you for joining us. And hello from Dunedin, I may be pronouncing that wrong. Hello from South Africa, thank you for joining us. And we are here with Kelly, she's a juvenile green sea turtle with fiber papillomatosis that was found entangled in fishing line this morning. She is very thin and her blood levels are critically low. And thank you for joining us as she's being admitted to the Turtle Hospital and receiving her first treatments. Hello in the UK and Pennsylvania. More friends from South Carolina. Thank you for joining us. What is wrong with her? Well, part of what's wrong with her is those tumors that you see. That is a horrific disease called fibropapillomatosis. She was also entangled in fish and line and from her body condition, she looks like she has been floating and has not eaten for a very long time, which would explain the critically low blood levels. Thank you for that good question. Hello in Missouri and Sweden. Hello in Texas. Thank you for joining us. And more friends from the UK and Indiana. It's 
So she's getting her last little bits of treatment. She will be under observation. If the team feels she is strong enough, she will be put in very shallow water to start. If you've ever been to the turtle hospital, you'll see that our animals are in at different water levels and pretty much is dictated by their condition and whether or not they can survive in water. She is very quiet and her blood levels are critically low, but it's always better if we can get them in some water or at least a shower. Hello in Orange Park and Israel. Thank you so much for joining us. Hello in Ireland. Thank you for joining us in Indiana. Hello in Columbus, Ohio. Thank you for joining us. And in Harlow, UK. Thank you for joining us. Hello from Norway. So we are going to finish up her treatments. I want to thank you for joining us. And for sharing our videos, we will do a post later today and we're going to update you on her condition. Hello from Malaysia and Michigan. Thank you for joining us. And from the Philippines, thank you for joining us. From Connecticut, thank you for the love. Please continue to send healing energies and prayers for this little one. She's going to need them. Hello from Christmas, Florida and Boston, Massachusetts. We want to... Wish everyone a totally awesome Monday and check back later today for an update on Kelly. Thank you for joining us.